Hello everyone, this video is a tutorial on how to grade assignments at SightReadingFactory.com. In order to grade an assignment, you must already have your students organized into classes and created an assignment for them. If you need help on how to create a class or create an assignment, please be sure to look for our videos on those topics. First, be sure you are logged in and on the dashboard. I'll first talk about how you can grade an individual assignment for a student, then I'll talk about how you can quickly and easily grade all ungraded assignments back to back for all your students. You'll find a list of all your current assignments for all your classes in the Assignments tab of the dashboard. Or you can find a list of the current assignments for a particular class by going to the class page for that assignment and looking in the Assignments table there. In either case, you can sort the table by any of the columns by clicking on any of the column headers you want to sort by. Or if you have a lot of assignments and there's a search box, you can search there. One helpful column I want to point out is the ungraded column, which shows you how many ungraded submissions there are for a particular assignment. Clicking on any of the assignment rows will take you to an overview page for that assignment. Now we're on the overview page for this assignment. Here you can view details about the assignment, manage your assignment, and view the status for your students. Also on this page, we'll have the ability to try it, edit the assignment, and delete the assignment. We'll talk more about the grade all feature later. Clicking try it will let you launch the assignment from the student's point of view so that you can see what the student will see when they launch this assignment. I definitely recommend that teachers do this at least once so they can see what it is like to take an assignment from the student point of view. Clicking Edit will let you make changes to the assignment. Watch our video on creating an assignment to see what the assignment editor looks like. Clicking Delete will delete the assignment and all data and recordings associated with that assignment. This action is not reversible. It truly deletes everything associated with the assignment, so please make sure you really want to delete the assignment before doing this. For the table of student data, you can, again, sort by each column header or search for a particular student or status in the search box. Now I want to draw your attention to the status column. This column will let you know the status of this assignment for each student. If the student has not attempted the assignment, it will say not started. If a student has attempted an assignment but hasn't yet submitted a recording for you to grade, it will say started. If a student has completed an assignment by submitting a recording and you haven't yet graded it, it will say completed. If a student has completed an assignment by submitting a recording and you have already graded it, it will say graded. If you set a max number of attempts on the assignment and the student used all the attempts but still didn't submit a recording, it will say exceeded max launches. Students who have exceeded max launches won't be able to attempt or launch the assignment again to submit a recording for you to grade. The only way they would be able to attempt this assignment again would be if you were to reset the assignment for them or increase the max attempts on the assignment. I now want to draw your attention to the action column. In the action column, you'll have the option to grade an assignment, update an assignment, or reset an assignment. Clicking Grade for an assignment will let you grade a new assignment submission that has not yet been graded. We'll talk more about grading assignments in a minute. Clicking Update for an assignment will let you update the grade or comments for an assignment that you've already graded. Now let's talk about resetting an assignment. If you've set a maximum number of attempts for an assignment and a student has launched the assignment the maximum number of times without submitting, they will not be able to launch the assignment again. Or maybe a student accidentally submitted an assignment or did a very poor job and you'd like them to try again. Clicking Reset for an assignment will reset the assignment for the student so that they can try again in these cases. When an assignment is reset, both the teacher and the student lose access to the recording and data that was associated with the original assignment submission. Now let's talk about grading an assignment. To grade an assignment for a particular student, I'll click Grade in the row for the student's submission. This takes you to the grading page where you can see the music that was generated for the student. You can listen to their recording. You can see other details about their assignment, such as when it was completed, how many attempts they made, and what level and instrument they used. Click the play button to listen to the recording and use the slider or fast forward and rewind buttons to find a specific place in the recording if you need to listen to it again. 
You can also use the tuner and freeform metronome to make sure the student is playing or singing the correct pitches and staying in time. After you have listened to it, you can give a grade and leave feedback. That grade and feedback is shared back with the student. Also on this page, if necessary, you can reset the assignment for the student. Now let's talk about how you can easily grade all of your ungraded assignment submissions at once. From the dashboard, if you go to your Assignments or Students tab and click the Grade button at the top of the tab, it will take you to your first ungraded assignment. After you enter a grade in comments and save them, it will automatically take you to the next ungraded assignment. You can keep doing this and it will cycle through all ungraded assignments for all students in all of your classes. Or, let's say you just want to grade all ungraded assignments for a particular class instead of all your classes. You can go to that specific class page and click Grade at the top of that page and it will let you cycle through all ungraded assignment submissions for that class. Or, let's say you just want to grade all ungraded submissions for a particular assignment instead of across multiple assignments. You can go to the Assignment Overview page for that particular assignment and click Grade at the top of the page and it will cycle through all ungraded submissions for this particular assignment. Finally, you also have the option to grade all ungraded assignment submissions for a particular student. To do this, go to the Students tab on your dashboard, search for the student whose assignments you want to grade, and click their row. This will take you to the Student Details page. From here, scroll down to the Current Assignments section and click the Grade button to grade and cycle through all ungraded assignments for this particular student. Thank you for watching this video on how to grade student assignments.